Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. We have a MacBook, I believe a 16 inch one, nice laptop, and the problem with this laptop is not coming on. This is a customer job. Uh, the customer is saying he was watching a clip on YouTube and the laptop shut down and never start again. Hmm? So, what do you think? Can be interesting, right? Okay, how do we check? Let's get the USB. Let's get the USB. And we have the meter. Now let's plug and see what this laptop is doing. Hmm? What is doing? So the voltage is 5 volts. So the PD controller is not negotiating the voltage with the charger. And the current... It's around uh, 70 milliamps, yeah? The other port? Yeah, same story. 5 volts, 70 milliamps. And probably those ones are the same. Yeah, same. 5 volts, 70 milliamps. So, uh, clearly, we have a power issue on this laptop, yeah? I will say, let's open, okay, one screw is missing, you can see it here. Possible someone opened the, the laptop already? Not sure. Let me open the laptop and let's have a look. Okay, so the back cover is out. And the laptop looks untouched, you can see. I mean, I can't see anything. Uh, on this board. So no, I don't think anyone tried to fix this. I mean, I'm looking on the screws and they're all untouched. So what we should check first? What do you think? Hmm? Main power rail, yeah? That's some someone said there? Main power rail? So the main power rail is... What do we have here? Here we have 10.9. 10.9 volts. So the main power rail is present, yeah? Okay. It's not like uh, we have uh, a missing main power rail. No, not really. Okay, so based on the fact we don't, uh, it's not negotiating the voltage. I think the first thing, what I will check, what I will check, it will be the 3.3 volts power supply, yeah? This is the... This is the, the 3v3 G3 hot power rail, which is always present. Yeah, this is a 3.3, which is supplying voltage to the EC chip, the SMC chip. Now, this chip is taking voltage one from DC in from the charger and one from the battery. And from the battery, we have voltage. Yeah, so we have to check if we have any output on this. Uh, uh, on these chips and check around here, okay? I, actually, I believe we don't have voltage. We can check. Yeah, we are looking for this chip. Which is on the other side of the board and actually this double diode, it's well known, uh, has problems. I mean, in a case we have a short or a shorted capacitor or whatever. Anyway, the thing is we have to take the board out here. Yeah? So just give me few minutes to take the board out and we can check. So we took the board out and the board indeed looks like untouched. I mean, we can see the dust on it and everything. Yeah. So let's let the laptop on one side and try to concentrate on the board. Okay. So one more time, we have to find this. Yeah. And this one is here. You can see the double diode, you can see the chip, yeah, it's looking fine. So how we are checking something like that, this circuit? I mean, according with the schematic, it's quite simple to check this circuit, yeah? So what we can check? We can check the input, yeah, here. We can check the output, I mean, if anything is shorted. So we have a few things to check here. Okay, so let's take the power supply. Yeah, the power supply is the easiest way. Let me switch the power supply. Let me switch it like 5 volts. 
I mean, it doesn't even matter yet. A volts, that's fine. Low current. And first, let's check the output of the diode. Okay? Output of the diode. Oh, lol. 400 milliamps. Okay. Uh, it is actually, it's not okay. I mean, there is supposed to take nearly no power or maybe 10 milliamps, okay. something like that. Okay, so how we can fix something like that? Let's switch the power supply to 3 volts. So with the 3 volts, I don't have ground. One second. Yeah. So with the 3 volts, it's a shorter. You can see it. It's taking 440 milliamps. Let's use some alcohol quickly. Pretty strange because the customer say he was watching YouTube and the laptop suddenly died. I mean, clearly here is something shorted. Yeah, so that's alcohol. Good, it's on focus. We can get rid of the reflections a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's come with the power of the op output of the diode. And I can't see anything to get out here. 400 milliamps. Huh? Like nothing. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Here can be can be faulty only this these two capacitors yeah where, where are those capacitors let's see so we have this capacitor which can be faulty we have one more where is the other one one second so this is one probably the fault is not even here so check there here is the other capacitor one second one second u700 which is here okay let's try here let's try here yeah so let me lower the current again let me lower the current now let's see the capacitor has to be this one lol check there check there check 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 there you see check there Huh? What do you think about that capacitor? Check there, it's like alive. Lol. <sighs> okay, this was an easy one. This was an easy one. Let me grab a nozzle, a small nozzle. This was an easy one. Uh, a capacitor unbelievable I mean even on the MacBooks the capacitor are getting faulty crazy so you cannot trust capacitor on those days Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we remove the capacitor. Do we still have short? That's, that's the question. So let's check together. Mm, it's not that hot. So here is ground, clearly. Yeah? Here is plus. Check on the screen. Check on the screen. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. I mean, here is taking current because it's ground, you can see. But here where it's plus, it's not taking current anymore. So that's the problem, the capacitor. So, we're going to replace the capacitor, of course. Of course. Yeah, let me grab another capacitor. I found here exactly the same capacitor. 
same capacity, same voltage. Yeah, which one? Pick one. Pick one. <laughs> Pick one. Uh, you know what? I'm laughing, but uh, yeah, that should be fine. I don't want to pick a capacitor like from one volt power L. <laughs> uh, no. Now, this one should be fine. Where is my chip? Oh, where is my chip? Here. Oh, lol, this is bigger. If I put a bigger capacitor, I have to charge the customer more. Yeah, let's search for another one. Let's search for another one. We don't want to charge the customer more, right? Remember, I told you always, like, bigger capacity is better. Bigger capacitor is better. Told you. Let's see this one. This one is still bigger, but mm, okay. I really try to go extra mile for the customer to put a bigger capacitor. But it looks like those boards, they all have like big capacitors. Okay, let me grab a classic board. This that board is, is too confusing. Oh wait, we found a MacBook board. A MacBook board. Okay, I'm pretty sure this capacitor it will be fine. Same from a MacBook motherboard. I have to replace the capacitor. The people start watching my videos. I mean, we we all understand what the capacitor is doing, but a customer, he will not understand. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I didn't have problems, if that's what you ask. But, you know, I can't have. Bro, this is bigger. You know, a bigger is better, right? Yeah. Bigger is better. Trust me. Trust me, when it's about capacitor, always. Always. Okay, so let's do here a nice soldering job. I mean, for me, that's what means to go an extra mile for the customer. You are fitting. A bigger cap, yeah? So the voltage is slightly better, yeah? Less ripple. Right? I mean, clearly here is placed to be better than uh, what Apple built. Clearly it can be better. No questions about it. You see, that's what I called a perfect job. Now let's clean it. 
Now let's analyze. And we can predict the, you know, the benefits from a modification like this, yeah, a bigger cap. Don't tell me I'm dodging. Uh, not this time. I mean, not only is I not only I replace the capacitor, but also I replace the capacitor with a bigger one. You know what I mean? Capacitor are like batteries, you know. Perfect. Perfect. So there we have plus, there we have ground, perfect. You see, a perfect job. Let's come with voltage. Let's see. Check on the screen, it's taking no power at all. We should always try to make the things better, yeah? Not only the same, but even better. Now, just, uh, you know, leaving the joke on one side, let's be honest. A bigger capacitor, it's always better. But obviously, they try to cut the money down and they think, okay, you know what, two capa capacitors are enough. If two capacitors are enough, what about three capacitors? Oh, three is even better. Yeah, I know. What well, about too bigger capacity? Yeah, we can, but it's start too big and it start being expensive and uh, you know the story. Okay, great. Now we can clean the dust just a little bit. Just to make it nice. So we were about to do the biggest mistake on this uh, repair, yeah? One second, one second, I forgot about, you know, the, 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 the thing what I'm scared, I forgot about it. Okay, so why, why I'm scared? I'm scared because of this diode. I found this diode burn on so many times, this one. So, according with the schematic, yeah? You can see the schematic on the screen, right? Yeah. If one capacitor is getting shorted, what do you think it will happen with one diode? I mean, both diodes. No, both diodes, yeah? So you have voltage coming from the charger, you have voltage coming from the battery, then you have a shorted cap. What do you think it will happen with the diode? That, exactly. So we forgot to replace the diode. We forgot to replace the diode. Let me try to get another diode and let us replace it, yeah? Let's replace that diode. So this one is dead. Clearly 100%, not even point testing. We can test it if you want, but it's 100% dead. 100%, not 99, 100. So we have two diodes here. This is dead. This is dead. This is dead, and this is dead. Yeah. Okay? So let me remove the diode. And now the challenge is to find another diode. This is a double diode, yeah? You remember. Okay, we removed the diode. Let me find another one. I do have a few Magsus board here. I found that. Check there. Check there. That's double diode. This one. Hopefully this is good. Can we test it? Yeah, we can. We can test it. <gasps> My diode. Okay, found it.
found it. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Okay. Let's use a little bit of flux. Rosin. Oh, I don't want the squeezer, one second. Usually when I want a little bit of flux, yeah, I'm heating the component and I'm just dipping it slowly on the flux, just quickly, you know. And now I have flux on the component. You can see. Perfect. Okay, so how we can test this diode? That's a good question, yeah? So in order to check the whole assembly, the whole one, yeah? I mean, to check everything from here, yeah? So to check, coming with voltage here on each side of the diode and checking the voltage here, yeah? We should have 3.3. That's the way how we can properly test this circuit let's do it let's do it so i have the power supply let me find a ground ground okay that's the multimeter this is the power supply good so let's switch to voltage uh, let's switch to voltage like like how much you want like 10 volts yeah, 10 volts. That should be fine. So we have the multimeter on the output here. And we are coming with a voltage here. And nothing. Okay. I don't have voltage. Let me check with the ground. No, I don't have ground. Hmm. Let me find another ground. No, this is not ground. It's crazy. What, what about this? Okay, this is ground, yeah? So, uh, multimeter here, here, plus. Check on the screen. Check on the screen. 3.4 volts, you can see. So, this is this diode. And the other diode is here. And you can check here. Check on the screen. 3.4 volts, you can see. All good. Now let me clean it quickly. Let me clean it. We done a good job, yeah. We done it. We done a fantastic job. Can we test it? Right now we can't test it. We don't have the USB. Uh, but let me put the board back just for testing. You know, just plug the connectors and try to check. Nearly ready, nearly ready. Yeah? Let's test it. Let's test it. So we have the power meter. Power meter is plugged in. Let's see. 19 volts, you can see there. And you can see the current is going up. So it's charging fine. The current will go probably over a little over 2 amps. And it's going. Let's see if it's working. And we have picture. We have picture. I'm happy I uh, helped the customer. Uh, yeah, it was not a hard job. But have in mind, you know, the 3.4 volts power supply is always on. And most common faults are there, yeah? Yeah, it's working fine. And we have login details. Now I have to edit a video. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah? All working fine? If you ask yourself from where I got the schematic is... 
the schematic and board view you can find it on our forum which is on the description or on our discord you'll find schematic and board view there okay good great it's charging with 2.1 amps which is perfect so i will stop now i will say you know what thank you for the watching like and subscribe if you like the video and don't forget max are quite kind, kind of easy to be fixed because you can find board view and schematic that's why they are easy okay so see you on the next one. Bye.